Although they broke out during a time when hair metal bands were all the rage, Guns N' Roses was a completely different kind of band, and it's fair to say it worked in their favor. Whereas most of their contemporaries focused on pretty boy aspects of glam hair metal, teasing their hair and creating music with strong pop hooks, Guns N' Roses shied away from all that. They drew equally from punk and classic hard rock and, and made their name through a bad boy image, oftentimes courting controversy in the process. Indeed, it's hard to argue with the success of their late 80s and early 90s albums, as well as such songs as Sweet Child of Mine and Paradise City, Patience, and November Rain. Guns N' Roses had several bust-ups, line-up changes, falling-outs, and making-ups over the years, but one thing that hasn't changed is their iconic name. Guns N' Roses might sound like the perfect name for an L.A. rock band, but actually it came about by complete happenstance. It's actually an amalgamation of two previous bands, Hollywood Rose and L.A. Guns, that would later become Guns N' Roses. Hollywood Rose was formed and founded by Axl Rose, Izzy Stradlin, and Chris Webber in 1983. However, the group disbanded by 1984. L.A. Guns, unsurprisingly, formed in Los Angeles in 1983 by guitarist Tracy Guns and drummer Rob Gardner. The band also consisted of singer Mike Jagos and bassist Old Bike. This lineup recorded one EP, a collector's edition number one, before Jagos was replaced by Axl Rose. In March 1985, the bands merged to become Guns N' Roses, and the rest, as they say, is history. The first lineup of Guns N' Roses consisted of Axl Rose, Rob Gardner, Izzy Stradlin, Tracy Guns, and Ole Beck. But that wasn't to be the last. Not once to let the grass grow under their feet, after their first gig, Beak was sacked and promptly replaced by Duff McKagan. Tracy Guns left Guns N' Roses after an argument with Axl Rose, which led to Slash's appointment to the band. Gardner quit not long after that and was replaced by another Hollywood Rose bandmate, Stephen Adler. This finally gave us Guns N' Roses in their classic lineup of Axl Rose, Slash, Izzy Stradlin, Stephen Adler, and Duff McKagan, who went on to release their first album, Appetite for Destruction, in 1987. 